I'd like to take a second here, or more than a second, to talk about Warden, because in my opinion, he is ridiculously underpowered and almost useless to a degree and basically literally every other three armor operator has a better utility and or weapon synergy. I'll be going off bullet points from what I noticed while I was playing as Warden so I, I might start to ramble if I do stop me or we can edit it later but I'll kinda nutshell it real quick here in the beginning so, let's nutshell Warden. The best way to do that would just come out and say that his special ability is useless basically 98% of the time. Warden himself is inferior to just about every other 3 armor operator in the game, and is also inferior to just about everyone else with his weapon selection. And a big problem with Warden as well, because of the fact that he recycles other characters' weapons, is the fact that he cannot be buffed without affecting the other operators. So, Warden, right now as he stands, is just not a good operator, and the worst three armor operator in the game. I'd even say he ranks lower than Tatanka. Warden's unique utility are the Glance Smart Glasses that allow him to see through smoke or grant immunity to stun grenades, meaning his entire ability is dependent on the action of the opposing team, so that he can have a reaction, which is not a big deal, but his guns don't seem to have a synergy with this ability, given that, as I said, his shotgun, the m 59 oa one is, you know, a shotgun. It's a very close quarter weapon. You can't enter a gunfight through the smoke with a shotgun. Or I suppose you could, it just wouldn't be a very good idea. And his other primary weapon is the MPX, which is a pea shooter with a more optimal range of being close to mid-range, whereas the shotgun obviously is only close range. His secondaries that he has access to are the SMG-12, which is best really only in close quarter combat in my opinion, and his other secondary would be, what is it, the P-10C? And that's my preferred go-to when it comes to longer ranges, because it's got a better recoil the, than the SMG-12. Overall, his, his gun selection is very lacking. It's very underpowered. The shotgun is fantastic, but there are other people with that shotgun that would provide more use utility-wise than Warden does. Uh, I won't go over the gadgets that he has access to, because right now I don't think his gadgets are even set the way they're supposed to be. I He has impacts right now which I don't think is going to stay. I'm pretty sure that was only a temporary thing they're doing at the moment. I don't know why. I don't know what his other gadgets are supposed to be. But I'm not going to go over that anyway because gadgets should be changing based on the situation you find yourself in or the map you find yourself in. So it's not important overall. I want to go back to the fact that he's lacking weapon synergy though. His weapons right now, both of them are utilized by other operators, and those other operators are both 2 armor, 2 speed, your standard operator. A Warden is a 3 armor, 1 speed, and every other 3 armor, 1 speed in the game, with a few exceptions, has access to an ACOG on an automatic weapon, like a submachine gun or some sort. The only other two that I can think of that don't have ACOGs on automatic weapons off the top of my head would be Cade and Mira. Cade I'm not a fan of. I've spoken about this in the past in other videos that you've probably not watched. But I don't like Cade's loadout. Like, at all. I find the be to also be very underpowered. And his, his gadgets or utilities are also very underpowered at the moment in my opinion. Though I understand that he does have the potential to be overpowered. So he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. So I won't go over him too much. I will say though that he does have an ACOG on a shotgun. Which is a sl slug shotgun. So it's more in line with like a sniper of some sort. It's a lot like the BOSG. Just with an ACOG. And the other three armor operator 
that I can think of that doesn't have access to an ACOG on the fence would be Mira. But Mira is a total package when it comes to weapon synergy and utility synergy. Because her, what is it, the Vector, in my opinion it's a very high skill weapon because it has a very low amount of damage at only 21. It does have a incredible fire rate. I don't recall what the fire rate is off the top of my head. I probably should have written that down somewhere. In addition to that Vector, which is a very good weapon for her utility, the Black Mirrors. In addition to that, she has a secondary shotgun, which will enable her to blow holes in the wall. So, if you're familiar with any Mira setup, you know that Mira is a very powerful operator, despite the fact that her guns are not the highest damaging in the game. It's very low damage, but she has a utility that will allow her to get headshots a lot more often than any other defending operator, or at least in my opinion. So she can be a very strong anchor without the need for an ACOG, because she can hold a lot of great angles, she can, well, one, just right off the bat, scare people away from whatever wall she's got a black mirror on. Uh, what else does she have going for her? She's got access to a C4, which is also great and combos well with her black mirrors. And I believe that's it regarding Mira. But overall, like I said, total package when it comes to weapon and utility synergy. You... You can look at her loadout and you understand right off the bat what you're supposed to be doing. With Warden, it is not as obvious. I'll kind of bring in another example. He's not quite as comparable as Mira was, but Jaeger. One of the reasons I think Jaeger is an operator that a lot of people gravitate towards to, outside of the fact that his carbine is a very fantastic weapon, is his utility. He's a three speed operator, which means he should be zipping all around the map, but his utility are the ADSs, the active defense systems, that's what they are. He can lay down his active defense system, the ADS, inside the objective room, and that will, if the opposing team has any grenades or any projectiles of any sort, the ADS will shoot it out of the air as it enters a building. And that will protect his teammates from stun grenades, regular grenades, uh, ying candles, I'm pretty sure, and fuse charges, I think. His utility is very autonomous. He just drops something down on objective, and then he's free to run around the map as he pleases. And that is the in desired intention of Jaeger, because he is a 3-speed. Now, Warden's ability, on the contrary, he has to have a reaction to something the opposing team is doing, which is not great, especially with his loadout, because he's three armor, has no access to NACOG, but has to stay in objective to really get the most out of his utility, and he has to basically hope that somebody's actually carrying stun grenades or ying candelas, that way he can actually get some utility from his special ability. Sometimes that won't happen at all. So when it comes down to it, basically every other three armor operator in the game has better utility and better synergy with their weapons. Warden, when it comes down, down to it, is basically inferior to Smoke, who also has a shotgun and SMG combo. It's the very same shotgun, but it's a different SMG. I think it's the SMG 11. In my opinion, that is a better SMG overall, because it's got a much better recoil than the SMG-12 does. It's also always in the process of being buffed for some reason. It's because they've been trying to buff Mute a lot, but that's for another time. So, Smoke can provide the shotgun and SMG combo. In addition to his Smoke utility, which can really stop the enemy in their tracks. In addition to that, he's also got the impacts. With the shotgun and the impacts, that's a lot of soft destruction. That's a lot of opportunity to reshape the objective room in your favor. Or even as a reactionary thing. He's also a two-armor, two-speed operator, which means he's more versatile. He can anchor if he needs to. 
He can also roam a bit or lurk a bit if he needs to. The fact that he is a two armor, two armor, two speed means he's right off the bat more versatile than a warden is. Mute, same as smoke, except he's got the mute jammers instead of the smoke grenades. And mute jammers, in my opinion, are very good, especially when it comes to reinforcing, because that almost guarantees that a thermite can't get in unless the enemy theme has a thatcher or twitch that shoots out your jammer. That's two other operators with the same basic. Uh, weapon utilities as a warden with better abilities and more versatility. The other weapon that a warden has access to is the MPX, which is also used by Valkyrie. Valkyrie is also a two armor, two armor, two speed operator, which again, right off the bat, means more versatility. And her special ability is the the black eyes black eye cameras and it's far more useful to have three extra black eye cameras even if they're placed in not so great spots than it is to have warden with his smart glance glasses which again is a reactionary utility all the weapons that warden has access to are also utilized by other operators that have far superior abilities then back to the three armor armor topic Every three armor in the game has a better ability than Warden outside of Tachanka. But we all love Tachanka anyway, so we're willing to forgive him for that. As I stated earlier, Mira synergizes, or not synergizes, has a better synergy with her Black Mirror utilities, abilities, whatever you want to call it. Maestro has access to two evil eye cameras, which are almost impenetrable by any means they have been nerfed recently the evil eyes are still very good though uh, the other three armor that I would say is better than warden would be Cade I've not been a fan of Cade in the past but his electro claws in my opinion still provide better utility than the warden smart glance glasses echo again another camera operator Another three spe three armor operator. His yokai drones are more v versatile than the evil eyes. They are also not bulletproof though, so you need to be more careful with them. Even if Echo dies in the first few seconds of the round, even if he gets a one yokai drone out and on a roof somewhere, that's more utility than Warden could possibly provide in a full round. Then you've also got, you know, Rook and Doc. And Rook is always useful. I would say Doc might be the only one on par with Warden. Because some some people are greedy and they use his ability more so to spawn peak. So if they get damaged during a spawn peak, they can heal back up and it's no big deal. Other times they fail to spawn peak and die immediately. And then that utility is no longer available to the team. Or sometimes Doc just is never in the proper position to actually use his ability on a teammate or get any utility out of it himself. So I would say Doc is the only one on par with Warden in terms of potential for being completely useless. When it comes down to it, in my opinion, Warden is not an operator you want to be picking ever. He, he is a fun operator, but at the end of the day... I don't think there's a single operator in the game that I find to not be fun. If you're looking for the better utilities to help your team overall, pick literally anyone outside of Warden. I mean, even Tatanka. I'll happily say that the bullet shield on his LMG provides more utility than Warden to the entire team overall. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but that's the stance I'm going to take. A very big problem with Warden right now is that because he recycles weapons on other operators, there is no way to give him a direct buff to his weapon set. They work themselves into a corner. Because now if they have to buff Warden, they either have to buff him by making him a 2 armor 2 speed, or do something else with his smart glance glasses that will provide some more utility for the entire team overall. Not even the entire team overall at this point, just something more for Warden 
so he's not feeling completely useless if somebody isn't packing a stun grenade on them. They can't put an ACOG on the MPX, because that would directly affect Valkyrie. And I don't think anyone really wants Valkyrie running around with an ACOG. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. They can't do anything to the shotgun primary, because that is also utilized by Smoke, Mute, Ban- not Bandit, Sledge, and Thatcher. So any changes you would make to the shotgun, and granted, shotguns probably won't be getting buffed anyway, because there's no reason to. There's not really anything you can do to a shotgun that will make it any better or worse. They just can't do it anyway, because that would affect five different operators. And that's completely ridiculous. They can't touch the SMG-12 that Warden has access to, because Dokabi and Vigil also have access to that weapon. And if you decrease the recoil on that gun, that's going to turn Vigil into an absolute monster, as well as potentially Dokabi. There's also not much you could do with Ella and Zofia's P-10C as well, because overall, pistols are what they are, in my opinion. I could be very wrong about that, but there's just not much you could buff to that thing that would make it any better than it already is, or any worse than it is. So that's my basic opinions on Warden. I think I've spoken on everything I put down on my bullet list here. So with all that being said, I, I hope I nutshelled it properly in the beginning. I might not have. Anyway, let's, let's move on from that. Warden, not a great operator. Not a must pick in any situation. And the only time you'll ever really find yourself getting utility out of a special ability would be maybe if somebody goes for a smoke plant. Even then, you probably don't have the proper weapon set to deal with that. It really all depends on what you run with. Personally, I've been running the shotgun SMG-12 or shotgun P-10C. Mostly because of the utility the shotgun would provide for my teammates. I have used the MPX a little bit and it's been pretty fun. Overall though, Warden, just not a good operator. Pick anyone else. Anyone but Recruit.